Can you see the line and the reduction till there? So once you've done the reduction, you always want to check it on a glass plate to see if your plane was reduced in one plane or whether there are different planes developed. And you want to always reduce it in one plane. So there's constant contact on the glass plate. Okay. After you do this, you want to go back into the patient's mouth. You want to go back into the patient's mouth here and you want to and check for the visibility. The visibility is still pretty good. Right, you can zoom it in. The visibility is still very good and so I think we will keep it there and we will start to adjust our occlusal plane. Now for adjusting the occlusal plane, we need to use an instrument called the Fox plane. Not the Facebook Fox plane. Sometimes with metal Fox planes, there is a problem. The metal Fox plane tends to be bent. Sometimes with the metal Fox plane, the metal Fox plane tends to be bent. Or sometimes the fork tends to be bent. The arms tend to be bent, so you need to verify this. Can you see? The arm is bent. But this arm is not bent. This arm is flat. So this is good. But this is definitely going to give you a wrong reading on campus plane. So you want to correct this bend before you do anything. So you need to do it on a table or a flat surface. Even this bite fork. I see that there's some problem with the bite fork, and I will show it to you. Okay, so this one is slightly bent, and you want to correct it by gently bending it back to make it straight. So you must take care and you can possibly check it out on a flat surface. I have a glass top here on which I lay paper, so it's pretty flat. You can check it out like that and see if it's flat, it's not moving too much. I see there is some rocking here coming from, the, from this point. That's because of this button. Okay. I put it this way, there is no rocking. This is one thing, now this is okay. What about this? This, I have problem here. So, it's a good idea to check this. I would check it on a glass plate. Probably see it much more clearly on a glass plate. If I am to hold the back, this is what you see. You see it's open. So, in this case, hold it slightly, gently, make sure it is flat. Make sure it's flat before you start working. Okay? And now, this goes back. You see the slots? The slots go in here to keep it from rotating. Okay, so the slots are there. And the screw goes in on top. With most of the plastic bows, this is not a problem. So, using a uh, plastic fox train is much more better in a sense. Let's check it on the patient's mouth. So I'm going to place this into the patient's mouth and then as the camera zooms in, I'm going to show you two instruments. This is my fox plane. Okay? And this instrument that I have here is called the Willis gauge. I showed you the fox plane in different parts before. The Willis gauge has got a screw end and a ruler end. You don't place it like this. You don't place it like this. You place it like this. The reason why this should stay on top, not down, like this, is because the readings are taken here. If you keep it like this, you should consistently keep it like this. Usually you get a reading that is too much. So, to keep it within normal limits, keep it like this and do one side up and down. This will go on the patient's nose and chin. Okay? Right now, I am going to just use this end 
as a ruler and check for parallelism. So you can open this up. Can you see if I use it like this? Difficult? This is all blocking your view. Okay, but must be to see, but it doesn't. Oh, okay, must okay, be no, come no, in must parallel. Be. Okay. Is it still now? No. The most important thing is that your face is parallel to his face. You get my face? You see my face down When you're checking for parallelism, the most important thing is that your face is parallel to the patient's face. If you are looking from the side like this, you cannot check parallelism. If you're looking from down, you cannot check. If you're looking from up, you cannot see. Your face must be parallel to the patient's face. And keeping it parallel, you want to quickly place this in the inner tube You're going to just hold it with this hand. When you do this, the patient's going to feel irritated. So you want to rest it on the patient's nose switch. Okay? So you want to look, look at the individual and then quickly look down. Don't try to keep looking at both of them together. You want to hide yourself without looking at the fox plane and look only at the individual when the patient's looking to your eyes. I'm going to show you that. Natsula, you will have to tell me if it's parallel with the camera. Okay. 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 Right now, according to the camera, the interfuclery is parallel. But you see, this side is low. The fox plate this side is lower than in this side. Correct? So that means that reduce wax from this side. So you want to reduce some. This side seems to be needing some reduction. So I'm putting a small line in that region just to see how much I want to reduce. The problem is when you start to reduce, you cannot see anything. If you don't put a line, you don't know how much you're reducing and then you end up reducing too much. So you want to put some kind of a limit so that you know where you want to stop. Again, you heat your hot plate. It's important to heat the whole hot plate. You can see the hot plate heating up. Yeah, the whole of the hot plate needs to heat up whenever you're working with your occlusal drill. So you heat up the whole of the hot plate. Make sure it's all hot. When it's all hot, then you come in for a reduction. And you want to reduce this side. Can you zoom in? When I reduce this side, I want to reduce it. You see the opposite side? I want to reduce this till I touch there. That's it. I don't want to reduce it more. So I'm going to, I'm going to have you look at both sides. Reduce this side, which I want to reduce till my line. And touch and stop. Okay? And then I want to check it on my glass plate. Like that. I want to see if it's... Okay, or if it's in more than one plane, if there is rocking, not very flat, I think there is a little bit of rocking, so I'm going to correct that. Now, I don't want to reduce this, I just want to make it flat. So, keep my whole instrument, I'm just going to touch. That's it. Check it back on my glass plate. Feels much better. See, it's all in one plane. Okay. I'm going to check it back in the patient's mouth. So you want to check this back in the patient's mouth. All right. And look again for parallelism using the same technique, using a fox plane and using a ruler in the interview plane. So I need to get my face parallel to his face at this point. 
So you look at it now, it's almost parallel on both sides to my fox plane. Okay?